Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We are not going to start with the Song of Inverted Time this time. Instead, we're just gonna have to go over to the Mayor's Residence to get this started because we're gonna be doing the longest side quest in the game because it's basically the only thing we can do at this moment in time without getting uh, sorts of stuff and I think it opens, yeah, 10 a.m. So we've got a bit of waiting to do here and... Yeah, well, I mean, I, I guess I could go get that rupee up over at that corner while I wait. <laughs> Since I got a full bank, I don't know why I'm getting this. I guess just for fun. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and let's go in when we can. Dang it, man. Dang it, man. Okay. <laughs> and he is right on the clock when that door opened. But anyway, what we're doing is we're going to go in here now. And since we're human, remember I said there was a Zora here before? I mean, are the fins damp lately? Well, there wasn't one when I came in here before, <laughs> I think. That's the greeting used among us Zoras. Oh, forgive me, I am total manager of the band, the Indigos. Yeah, he's hanging out over here on day one. Well, early day one. I'm out on of business cards, so a Zora greeting will have to do. The Indigos is the popular group that we Zora are so proud of. They've put out a lot of songs. One of their hits is Ballad of the Windfish. You know that song, don't you? Oh, I do, I do. Huh? You don't? Really? Even one that famous? Hmm. You'd be able to hear it if the show wasn't cancelled. It's such a shame. And, but one that we're trying to talk to here in this moment in time is her, actually. But I just wanted to show you the conversa conversation with the Zohar, excuse me. Oh dear, are you on a field trip? Are you the expert person finder I hired? Yes, 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 I say, you have the face of a pro. The characteristics of the person I want you to find. Yes, yes, I know them. The person I want you to locate is my son, Kefi. You know him, don't you? You don't? Really? He disappeared about a month ago. It's terrible. I'm so very worried. I can't get food down my throat. And I've lost five pounds. Oh, it really shows. You haven't anything, though? Oh, dear. Well, could you look for him? You bet I will. Oh, my, of course. You are an expert. Well, I'm counting on you. And we get the Kefi's mask, and you can use this to basically, yeah, when you're wearing this mask, you can get people to talk about the missing Kefi, because, you know, Link doesn't talk on his own. <laughs> so now she gets added to my notebook, because remember, I didn't talk to her after I got the notebook. It's been a while since we've been in here, actually, but anyway, let's, let's go plop on and over here and just get a little reminder of some some events going on here. Kefi's diary. Wedding ceremony is soon. It might be early, but I finished my wedding mask. I wonder if Anju has made hers. She tends to do things at the last minute, so probably not. There is a gathering of fellows at the milk bar tonight. Keep that in mind. I finish off my wedding mask and talk about my sweetheart as best I can. Well, it's, it, it's not really the fellows that we're going to be meeting at the milk bar. It's a part of a separate side quest giblets, and I gotta wait here for a bit. Now check this out, he pops in here and we get to see a little conversation between these guys and how's it going? Bah, 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 I'm busy. Okay, so when they start chatting, now we can speak. Madame Morona, I'm Gorman, it has been some time. What a change of tone. <laughs> Thank you for letting us perform at this year's Carnival of Time. Oh dear me, Gorman, there's a problem. Meaning? The opening performance I've asked you to do. Ah, yes. They've cancelled. Just now. Oh, <laughs> what's this? Allow me to explain. Oh, excuse me. I am to work at this year's show. Or, that was the plan. I am Toto, manager of the Zara Band, the Indigos. Yes, yes. You arrived this morning. Actually, there's been an unusual accident in Great Bay. I wonder what happened there. And due to this unusual accident, Lulu the Diva and the Indigo Indigo goes and lost her voice. Why? Why? The details are quite long, so I'll spare you. At any rate, I must cancel our performance at the series Carnival of Time. See? This means the Gorman troops drop us. It's off. That's... That's all, Gorman. As always next year. I'm busy with other matters. Just... What should I... I mean, the Gorman troop do? Oh, Gorman. I wish it was only your face that was annoying me right now. 
<laughs> uh, what do you have to say here? Oh, man, it's just gonna repeat that. Okay. Just wanted to see, cause, yeah, because it kind of joined in with the dialogue and whatnot. Okay, now let's go over to the Stock Pot Inn. It's uh, pretty near here, and notice I'm still not playing the song. Yeah, I just I still want time to pass, and there's still plenty of time to get to where we need to go in time, so... <laughs> now keep in mind, I'm kind of doing the bare minimum here, but... Uh, well, the thing about this is that uh, it's incredibly difficult to actually deduce what the poop you need to do in this place because, well, well, it, this side quest is lengthy, it's kind of ridiculous to try and figure this out without a guide, so, uh, yeah, this is, this is kind of optional here though, but I just like to show you here, you're like, oh, tortoise, I've already had lunch! Grandmother, I'm Anju. Told us was my dad. So it was the dad, not the son. And you haven't had lunch yet. I've already had lunch. Now be quick and take that away. Not eating is bad for you. Please eat. Didn't I say that I already ate lunch? Tortoise? Impossible child. And don't eat my food. I give up. Woo? <laughs> <laughs> There's actually a little bit more to this. Uh, <laughs> would you like me to read you a story? So if we went over to the uh, diary on the table here, Granny's diary. It was my granddaughter who cooked again today. Putting that to the lips shortens the life. <laughs> so she's a bad cook. I thought of a way to get it by get by without eating. I'll try it tomorrow. I just hope I'm not caught. Here <laughs> she comes. But, she's going upstairs. She's coming back! <laughs> now, um, what we need to do here actually, whoops, that's right, I need to take off this mask, put on this mask, and you know, we're gonna be a Goron. This, this, it'll make sense f to you in, uh, when it's like 150 or so of the PM variety. So I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna be here and it's gonna be like, hey, how's it going? I'm, I'm a Goron. I'm looking for my uh, reservation type thingy here. Ah, welcome to the Stockpot Inn. Um, did you have a reservation? Why, yes, I did. You do have a reservation? That's good. Mr. Link, is it? Oh, one moment, please. Mr. Link, uh, I have you down for an afternoon arrival. Your room is our knife chamber on the second floor. Here is your key. Woo! What the poop? Knife chamber, what the? You're not sure why, but you apparently had a reservation. Well, basically, <laughs> here's how it goes. There's a, another Goron that comes in here, and his name also just happens to be the name you gave your character. <laughs> yes, yes. This is fortunate. It was added to your notebook. Please relax. All right, I will. But I'd actually like to kind of wait around here for a bit more. Oh, here's the postman. Um, this is actually something else. Uh, I'll put on this mask just for kicks. I don't know if it'll make a difference. This, but he's basic. This is another sort of optional type giblet, so that you can get the idea of what the heck's going on in this event. Talk to them when they're having this conversation. He's like, Ah! What is this? I have delivered this to you. Wait, this is a letter. Where did you? Yeah. From the post box. Well, of course you got that from the. What the That's not what I mean. From the post box, where? Yeah. From the post box somewhere. He's not being very helpful. Yeah. That's not what I mean. Uh, do you got anything else? Please tell me. Yeah. It's a secret. No. <laughs> What's no? No. Please tell me. Yeah. It's a secret! I'm a snow! <laughs> well, basically, he isn't talking. He's got a postman's word of honor. I don't know where he is. Even if I knew, it would be a secret. So he's not telling us where Keffy is whatsoever. But I'm not just gonna... I'm gonna wait here for a bit, if you don't mind. Okay, I think I can talk to her now, actually. You're also looking for Keffy? I have a request. Keffy, uh, I have a clue. That will help you find them. Tonight at 11.30. Please come to our kitchen. We'll talk then. Alrighty, it's been added to the notebook! Uh-oh. Oh, what do you have to say, by the way? 
Ah, well, look. Oh, same dialogue, okay. Well, anyway, I gotta wait for someone else here at about 4 o'clock, just for another optional type event giblet. Here he comes! Here he comes! <laughs> oh man, I bet you can't wait to see what'll happen here! Okay, he's gonna take a little while to trom trom to the counter here. Let's see what he has to say. The city is so busy, it's hard to find one's way, Goro. Alright, here we go. And it has begun. I'm terribly sorry. There are no vacancies today. We're booked solid with reservations. <laughs> I, I made a reservation. The name is Link Goro. <laughs> Mr. Link Goro. I don't have a reservation. <laughs> that name? There's one close to that, but. What? Really, Goro? Well, it's nice weather, so I'll just sleep outside, Goro. I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> I really don't have it, Goro. I really don't have it. Really, Goro? I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> Just, yeah. Yeah. And he's leaving. It's a hard world to live in, Goro. Yes. Yes, it is. Especially when someone takes your reserv- I mean, no one took your reservation. Playing the song of time- No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> You know, as long as I'm waiting, I guess I can use that uh, room key and see what the poop is going on here. Uh, I think, yep, this is the sword room. Okay, inside here, this is, this is a treasure chest for guests. It contains a silver rupee, yes, because that, that's an awfully generous hotel there. What a ramshackle in it. Is this room first glass? You can hear whoever's next door for crying out loud. Well, whatever. We're staying for free, so we can't expect much. Yeah, that's... that's true. So this is kind of like a place of optional events of sorts. Uh, but it's not really anything we can do right now. I just thought, hey, I'll show you the place here. As long as there's a little bit of time to show you around and whatnot. So yeah, this is the sword room of sorts, I, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> the other one, as you know, down the hall is the uh, bunk bed room for the uh, troop, and as well as the, uh... oh yeah, these guys are playing cards, I forgot about that. Did you meet the Rosa sisters, our fellow performers from the troop? They're twins too. They're twins, just like us. Can you believe it? I think they're practicing somewhere in West Clocktown right now. You're showing your cards to your opponent, man. Turn them around. There are two sets of twins traveling in Gorm's, Gorman's troop of entertainers. I mean, what are the chances? I'd say the chances are about one in a million. No, wait, make that four in a million. Ho, 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 ho. Good times. Yes, and by the way, there's uh, um, boxers on the bed here. After <laughs> I think it's one of the Gorman troop leaders, if I recall correctly. I, I think it's that uh, orneriest one that met with the mayor. Hey there, where are you going? It's 8.30 p.m. and the stock pot in will now be locking the door. Thank you for joining us. Are you going to kick me out, like, when the clock turns? I mean, I've got a room key, so you shouldn't kick me out, right? Right? If not, I'm going to have to sneak in the upper door. <laughs> Let's see what happens. She's locking. Kinda. Um, what? Is eight there, uh huh? Okay. Wait, it's coming, it's coming. Wait for it. Are we gonna be booted out? Nope, okay. Good night, thank you, thank you. And I'll I'll wait in the kitchen now. I do believe I heard her go upstairs in this room. It says employees only no admittance. So now that we have this room, we should be able to hear some stuff. What are uh Oh, no, I guess not. Maybe it's on another day. Okay. But yeah, basically, um, that room where that thin wall is, you can hear stuff going on in this room. And that's why you kind of want to get that in key, even though it's kind of optional for the sake of the event to get hints on how to actually complete this quest. Anyway, I gotta wait until 11.30, so I'll, I'll just stick around right here. Uh-oh. I hear her coming. I hear the door... And th by the way, this is why I'm not playing the song of inverted time, the slow down time or anything like that, because it just speeds these events around a little bit faster. Um, I guess I could use uh, Andrew's grandmother in a way to move time ahead two hours at a time. 
sort of, kind of, which might be your best bet for some of this stuff, but... But, well, I, I, I really don't want you to miss certain stuff that happens, so I'm kind of not doing that. Anyway, we are here. Sorry to trouble you late at night. It's about him. Kefi, I received a letter from him. Strange, isn't it? Getting a letter from a missing person? But there's absolutely no mistaking it's from him. It's clear. To me. Please. Here is my letter. Please put this in a post box. When this is delivered, when he receives my letter, you should be able to meet him. Please tell him that Andrew is waiting for him. Please, after you've seen him, tell me how he's looked. I'm scared. I... I can't go. Can I ask this of you? Yes. Thank you very much. We got the letter to Kaffee! Quick, deliver it for her! Take it to a mailbox! Yeah, so we gotta do that right away. Please, mail it immediately in the morning. And... Wait, wait, what? Okay, she poof, poofed out of existence. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna go pop over to a uh, mailbox. I don't know if this door is gonna be open, though. Uh, oh, it is, okay. <laughs> I think I, I can't go in this way, but I can go out that way. Oh no, I can go both ways now that I have the room key, I guess. Otherwise it would be uh, a locked. So, okay, we're looking for a post office box type giblet. And I know exactly where there's a post office. Look at this, see this? This is deposit mail here. ka -ching! So we go like in here, and then we go over here, letter to cafe. Here's our room key too, by the way. Here you go. Enjoy my delicious letter. By the way, do not give this letter to the um, guy in the toilet. You will get a heart piece for it if you didn't do that side quest before, but if you, if you, you did it, deliver it to him and not the mailbox, you can't continue this quest for obvious reasons, at least in this time cycle. It shall be delivered tomorrow! ka -ching! And the letter has been sent. But you hear someone? You hear someone snoring? Let's take a look-see around here. Uh, because we have plenty of time to look around. Actually, oh, this isn't where the snorer is. Where is that snorer guy? Up oh, there he is. Okay, he's sleeping outside the stockpot and he's like, The wind has gotten damp, Coral. Tomorrow is rain, Coral. 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 Yeah, that's true. It always rains on the second day. It's a fancy way to water your beans without actually watering. <laughs> Um, I think I could just fast forward time to get over to the next day, but I'm not really sure. I'm gonna have to check notes. So I'm just gonna hang around in here just in case, well, and pause. Nope, I was right, I can just skip ahead to the second day. <laughs> You'll see why when we get there, but... Oh, it's because I'm indoors. Dang it, dang it, dang it. You and your indooriness just ruining my notage. <laughs> Uh, but basically, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be going over to the laundry pool, which is over there, at about 3 p.m. tomorrow. Well, you know, on day day two. And then the event cycle will continue, but I need to kind of kind of pass time a little bit faster than how I would prefer. So I'm probably going to do the some grandma story time listening to stuff so that I can uh, skip ahead and whatnot. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like I can go in and out of here freely now that I have a room key. Oh, did you see him? No, I didn't. I'm sorry. It's probably too soon to ask. It is actually too soon to ask, come to think of it. But, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna pass the time until it gets to, uh, probably around, like, 1 p.m. or so by doing a, a Grammy, Granny here. So let, let's see here. It will be two hours each time I do the Carnival of Time, so I'll have to mash through the dialogue here a bunch of times. And since I'm not wearing the mask, um, yeah, it, it, it automatically makes you skip the actual picture portion of that because you're not wearing the all-night mask and thus you can't stay awake for her stories. That's what, why you needed that mask, because they're just too boring for you to handle. So, yeah, I'm just gonna do this, I think, one more time, and then head over to the laundry pool, just to make sure that I have enough time uh, to get there and whatnot. So yeah, and then it'll be nice 
12 p.m. This is a decent way to pass time in a more controlled state, a little bit faster than... Oh, shoot! A little bit because she was doing that feeding portion. But yeah, it's just a little bit quicker that way, um, rather than having to wait for the time to pass. But at the same time, it's impractical on that first day because... You notice that a lot of those events that I did was like one after another every couple hours. I was just cutting ahead for the sake of time and whatnot in the videos because it's still kind of a thing, but yeah. <laughs> now, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be going and hanging out over here. And we're going to be... Oh, I have the wrong mask, I just noticed. We're going to be putting on the stone mask so he won't be seen. Because this is actually the place of uh, Kefi. This right here. Yeah, um... Yeah, we, we kind of learned that earlier on when we seen him popping out from over here earlier on in the first day, I do believe. But, uh, it... it so, yeah, we're just gonna kind of hide over here and... We're just gonna watch and wait, okay? Okay, Bas basically with the stone mask you can hide anywhere. <laughs> but... What we're going to be doing here is we're going to be watching for the mail ma uh, the mailman to come deliver the letter that we put in the post office. And this is how you would normally be able to find out about Kefi's whereabouts. Because the postman, while he says it's a secret, if you follow him around, you'll find out that it's actually over here. Uh, like if you just keep following him on his route after he delivers the letters and stuff like that, he'll eventually come over to here. So, I guess we'll wait for that. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? Here he comes! Okay, now watch this. He's gonna ring the bell. And then... Mail call! And here he comes, that's Keffy. But, you know, we got the stone mask, so he's not gonna be frightened by us or anything like that, or even notice that we're here. So, we're just gonna kinda kind of let him do his thing over there with the mailman and instead we're gonna sneak in here and what like why are we gonna sneak in here though so this is actually the back side of the curiosity shop yeah remember the curiosity shop that has all those stolen items this is where we're at <laughs> in fact we can even take a peek see uh, this is the barred window but it, it doesn't really look like it from the inside or whatnot uh, but yeah, now, now we're just waiting here. Um, hear it? Hear that? Uh-huh. It's coming. It's coming. He's coming! There he is! How's it going? <laughs> Green hat? Green clothes? Andrew wrote about you in her letter. It seems you are looking for Kefi. Can you keep a secret? Yeah, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Andrew trusted you. I shall also trust you. <gasps> the guy of the mask. I am Kaffee. It was if you couldn't tell by his hair from the back. <laughs> the Kaffee we're looking for is an adult. When I look at you, I just see a child. I was turned into this by a strange imp wearing a mask. But I'm not hiding because I look this way. When I was turned into this, I went to see the great fairy in the shrine near the north gate. But on the way, my precious mask... A wedding ceremony mask was stolen from me by some prancing man with a grinning face. Do you happen to recall a certain thief that uh, was prancing around? Yep, it's Sakon. The same guy who steals the bomb bag from the old lady. So you do not want to do that event as well in this time cycle, otherwise you won't be able to see something that's upcoming here. Well, you're just careless. You're like my partner. Oh, come on! Before my wedding ceremony, I was quite happy. I was targeted because of what I had been turned into. Oh, my. I pity you. I know, Andrew is worried, but I can't go out yet. I made a promise to her that I would bring the wedding mask and greet her. This pendant. Give it to Andrew. And we get... Woo! The pendant of memory! Yeah. Though you may not understand these grown-up matters. You should probably take the pendant to Anju anyway. Indeed. Keep what we just talked about a secret from anyone from everyone. I think that's a little 
a little um, throwback to the first Legend of Zelda, where when you go into those secret areas and it's like, this is a secret to everybody, and then you touch the rupee and it gives you like a hundred rupees or something like that. <laughs> The Mysterious Youth Cafe is added to your notebook. You've been entrusted with a precious item. This was added to your notebook. Things that get stolen in this town always make their way to the curiosity shop. Uh-huh. I'm waiting for that to happen. You wait. Stand on that crate and peek into that hole. So we can go on to here and take a look-see over here. From here, I check on the curiosity shop's customers. Okay, so we're just going to take a... A watchy here. Look! Look at this. Well, okay, that isn't the bar of the uh, of the open area. Excuse me. Um, I, I just looked like that it was trying to be something else, but I guess it's like a sub room to that room. And this clock is not working. <laughs> As a matter of fact, the clock has stopped entirely at this moment in time. Uh, but I think there's actually an event here. If I wait for it, that guy will definitely appear. I'll be waiting when it happens. So yeah, I think I need to actually wait. I think. I think. Nope, actually I gotta go back to the inn. <laughs> I forgot that that bomb bag event happens on the first day, so there, is, there isn't gonna be anything to see there. Now I believe you've gotta get this pendant to her by uh, 7 p.m., so uh, let's go ahead and uh, give this to her really quick. Oh, did you meet him? Here you go. I did. <laughs> <gasps> it's from Kathy. <laughs> Thank you very much. That face looks so happy. This is added to your notebook. Um, I have decided to wait for him. I've made my promise. I'm fine with this. I believe him. Okay, so normally what she would do is she would leave Clock Town, but since you gave her the pendant, she will instead wait for him. Somewhere. <laughs> um, now, now, um, yeah, I think I should wait in the room upstairs, if I recall correctly, for the next event. Oops, oh, I totally passed up the stairs, but yeah, the, the room reservation I got from the Goron, uh, I think it has to be like midnight or so, so it's time to listen to stories that I'm not going to stay up through. <laughs> oh, I can't listen to any more stories. Interesting. Okay. Well, anyway, I'm, I'm going to go upstairs to the room because she's going to be going into the other room soon. And then I can do some eavesdropping. Oh, wait, you're here. Bah, bother, bother, I'm busy. Ah, you always say that to me, you sucker. <laughs> Uh, I guess there's gonna be a little event going on here, or maybe she's just gonna lock the door at this moment in time. Uh, I decided to wait for him. I've made my promise. I'm fine with this. I believe him. Okay, so yeah, she's just gonna lock the door. I'm just gonna wait in the other room then. Or maybe I'll wait for her to come up the stairs just to show you that she is indeed going into this room. Wait, can I actually see inside this room with the camera? Because I've seen it just kinda... The camera just kinda messed around there. It let me peek a little bit. We'll be able to get in that room later, but still. Oh, geez, I, I've been recording for quite a while. It's actually 42 minutes on my camera, but I know I've got very little footage, so... Oh, I, I was able to see into the room a little bit there. But anyway, um, I know with the cuts, it's just gonna be... It's gonna really cut down on time and stuff like that. So this is still employees only. Yeah. <laughs> but now that it has... I mean, now that she's popped in there, we should be able... Did you see that? Just load this texture. Uh, what a ram. Da, 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 da. Okay, now we gotta wait here a bit. I don't remember when it starts, but it's coming. That's why I wanted to be in here ahead of time. There we go, okay. So they said you could hear the voices next door. I clicked through that a little fast. Okay, Anju. We're leaving in the morning. I mean, leaving in the evening for the ranch. Came here or will take us in. She's your best friend, right? I wonder if Kathy is really at Creamia's place. If Kathy is there, your mother will give him a snack. Besides, think about Creamia. She needs strength from a partner and business support from Madame Aroma. If Kathy, if Kathy really is run off with Creamia, she'll get both. Please don't be sad. How happy could you possibly be marrying a man who runs off and he's about to be married? If it would make your life, if it would make your life unhappy, just like your mother's. But in the letter, it said he definitely would come back. 
Come back to what? Won't this town be crushed beneath the moon the morning after tomorrow? Forget about that letter. For now, just try to survive. Everything else will follow. Yes, mother. Thank you. And there's our conversation that we were looking for. Uh, got anything else to... Nope, okay. Going back to the curiosity shop, it's gonna be a... <laughs> okay, now I'm... <laughs> so what I want to do is go to the curiosity shop now for another sort of little side event. Oh, um, maybe I can't do that just yet. I could have swore I should be able to do that, um, unless I have to... Uh... Um... Oh, I remember, I remember. I need to do... some... shimmy shams here. Basically, we need to bait them out by hitting that bell. Uh, oops, let's need to... Yeah, because remember, reading that bell gets him out of the house, because it thinks that, uh... He's, there's some mail or something like that coming. Uh, oh, maybe that's not the right time to do it, but yeah, I could have swore that there was some sort of event where you could actually see Sakon the Thief delivering the bomb bags or whatnot. Um, let's see. Uh, oh wait, what if I put the stone mask on and do that again? Let's just try this here. Boop. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Now, how does this work? <laughs> I just remember that there is something here at the night of the second day. Um, I'm just trying to kind of reset this here for a second to see if I can get that cutscene to pop back. Oops, how did, what the heck even happened there? Is that going through the bell? Okay, there we go. Um, and let's try it again. This is past midnight. <laughs> you know, it's a new hour. Um, hmm. Can I, like, go in there now that I have the... Uh... Hmm, I'm gonna have to check. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I see. Uh, we're not supposed to go in that way. What we're supposed to do... I'm gonna have to slow down time here to pull this off, I think. Uh, but to see this optional type giblet is that I think you gotta go to the other side. Um, where that actual... Uh, main entrance to the curiosity shop is not through the back way. We gotta go through the other way. So now that I slow down time, I should be able to pull off seeing this event here, hopefully in time. Uh, it's between 12 and 1 a.m. I mean, 12:30 and 1 a.m. Apparently. Uh, so yeah, I think slowing down time will work in my favor. Let's see here. It should be open. Up oh, there he is. <laughs> Uh, maybe I should uh, return time to normal here to get him back over to the counter so I can actually speak to him. The happiest thief in the world! There we go. And he's gonna merge with my body, isn't he? Between there, there we go. <laughs> uh, how's it going? Hey, we have a no mask policy. What? I didn't think I'd see nobody wearing a mask like that nowhere, but here's one. So the Taurus wife is making a search room with this, eh? Doesn't look like a thing, like... I'm really... A, then again, I guess it does. So, um... Hey, uh, I want you to leave now. Okay, I'll take off the mask and talk again. Come in! Can I... I got nothing to sell. I kid you not! Can I buy something? I'll pay you good for it. She's <laughs> in the cutscene-ish. Uh, I don't have anything to sell, but I'm okay. Thanks. Come in again. Okay, let's see here. Uh, you do... Oh, there we go! 100. Be such a ruby pincher, you miss, you meister. 200. Well, why don't I just offer you even less? And you know, this is the bomb shops. How about I tell you um, all about you? All right, fine, I'll take it. But you're guilty too. Don't be a fool. A seller of stolen goods is just a middleman who's just trying to provide his customers with a good product. Filled with fleas like the ones on my back. Look, I know nothing. If it comes to me, I buy it. I'm a charitable organization that helps people in need. I I understand. Then the total is it's fifty now. So there you go. Uh, what? You said a hundred. Oh, so you don't want me to take it off your hands? But uh, uh, wait, 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 it's a deal. It's a deal. <laughs> this curiosity shops guy is taking advantage of me. I just want to make my fair, want my fair share. Uh, oh, I can't talk to the guy at the counter now. Uh, can I? 
Oh, no, I guess not. Well, let's just wait until this event ends at 1. And let's see if we can get something else out of here, dialogue-wise. Same thing, okay. What about you? Oh, come on! Don't- No, I want to speak to you. There you go. Come in. Nothing to sell. What? Really? I just seen you get sold a bomb bag. Don't you tell me. <laughs> okay, whatever. Speeding up time. Day three time. Now you're here. How's it going there? I'm sorry. We're going to be taking refuge in the evening like the others. You should run too. It seems it's going to fall tomorrow morning. Oh boy. Oh boy. You know, unless I play the Song of Time. Anyway, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna listen to some stories here to pass the time until about like uh, ten or so, I would say. Yeah. What? Really? Are you serious? Oh man. Oh man. What if I do it with this mask, Dotor? They pick on you. Come tell your teacher, okay? Uh, she's just playing senile, so she doesn't have to eat Andrew's food. <laughs> so I guess I can't use their stories to skip time now. That's a bummer. Instead, um, um, I would like to go back to the laundry pool, though, because I think I can do the bell ringing thing now. So I'll put on the stone mask, because I don't, I don't actually think I need the stone mask now, because I know uh, Kefi, but still, it's just a thing of just in case, because I don't want to miss a beat in this. <laughs> so here we go, through the door. And now we shall see if we can actually get inside. Can I hit it with my sword? Um, yes I can. <laughs> Maybe I can just go inside though this time. We'll see here. Uh, no. Hmm. Are you bored waiting around here too, little fairy? I am. Well, basically, it's supposedly at 12 you can enter this place now. So let's just see here. No? Really? Uh, maybe I have to do the uh, bait and switch, I guess you could say, with the hook shot. Well, it's not really a bait and switch per se, is it's just a. Oh, come on! I hit that bell. You don't don't tell me I didn't hit that. What is going on with this bell? What? That was just no, no. <laughs> what is the hitbox of this bell? Uh, hmm. Hmm, how does this even work? Because I, I thought there's something that you could do here after like 12 or something like that. Or maybe I'm thinking of 12 a.m. on the final day, not 12 p.m. Oh, 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 I can enter it at 1. I can enter it at 1, okay. <laughs> so here's the curiosity shop owner guy. He's like, huh? You're the green hat kid. I got a message from Kathy. How does he notice me with the stone mask? Now, Kathy, I've known him since he was a real little, uh, but the, and he showed up looking all young in that little brat body. I don't know what I was seeing. All it took was one glance at that Keaton mask he was carrying for me to realize that I was looking at my old friend. I gave him that mask a long time ago, and he was just a little Kathy. Didn't know he kept that well for so long. I'm not sure why, but I want to give this to you. And we get the Keaton mask! This is the mask that he was wearing that you can also find in Ocarina of Time for a mask trading sequence! That was a run-on sentence. Accepting this keepsake doesn't make much sense to you, but you should take it anyway. Also, now Kathy, he says he wants you to take this to his mother. There we go, express mail to Mama! This is priority mail, so hurry up and deliver it! customer came to my shop last night. Now Kefi sees him and Kefi's color just changes and he goes running after the guy. The guy's a regular, a greedy thief named Sakon. I think he's from Ikana Village. Hint, 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 hint. Hint, 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 hint. Oh yes! And yeah. <laughs> this has got to be done a little bit later on though. A customer came to my shop last night. Now Kefi sees him and Kefi's color just in blah blah blah. The guy's a regular, same dialogue. Okay. Alright, now I'm gonna soar to Akana Canyon, and I highly, highly recommend that you owl save here, because this last sequence of events is gonna be a little bit tight for time. So let's go ahead and do that. Safe. Alright. Now, all we've gotta do is wait. Sorta. Of. I mean, what we can do is, uh, 
uh, take a walk on over to where Sakon the Thief's hideout is, and I recommend you have that stone mask again so that we are invisible to detection. And, uh, oh, I jumped off at the wrong angle. Whoopsie! Oh, they can see me! H how is it possible you could see me with the stone mask? Well, I guess it doesn't work for all enemies. <laughs> Alright, so is he prancing about over here? No, I guess not. But there will be someone here in this time. Remember, we I said that uh, Kathy would be waiting around this particular area at a certain amount, at, I mean at a certain time? Well... Well... Check it out. <laughs> How's it going? I found him, Green Hat Boy. He's using this place as a safe house for keeping his stolen goods. Apparently his name is Sakon. He came to the shop last night and I followed him. The storage for the things he's stolen is on the other side of this rock door. Only Sakon can open it. The only way in it is to wait for Sakon to arrive. I'll wait. I made a promise to Anju. He will show up. If you don't have the mask, just continue hiding behind here. But I've got the mask. I'm just, I'm just gonna keep it on just in case. And now we wait. Six o'clock, night of the final day, twelve hours remain. Now, he should be coming up here soon. Uh, I think I can hear him. Hear that? You might need earbuds to hear that, but oh, here he comes, yep. Okay, so, what I recommend you do, uh, once he gets close enough, of course, because otherwise it'll slow him down as well, is to play the Song of Inverted Time. To slow everything down, to give yourself as much time as possible to pull this off. Uh, and just wait until he gets within range, I, I guess. And it's probably going to open it at 7. So let's start it right here. There we go. Hopefully he doesn't hear my ocarina. Nah, it'll be fine. <laughs> I guess I could have played the... Uh, uh, song of Double Time, actually, to skip to six if it's going to take him this long, so that's another thing. I, also, I guess I could also save that the Owl Statue at a later time to speed this up in case I have to redo it. But we'll cross that bridge if uh, we have to. See, it slowed him down, so now it's taking forever to actually get over to his hideout. I can't get the camera in just the perfect angle, can I? <laughs> okay, that's, that's decent. So here he goes, and it opens for him... And we must follow him in. Sakan so uh, sure played a pretty big role in this game. <laughs> He's got a bunch of side quests associated with him. Alright. And we follow. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Before it closes. Alright, Sakan's hideouts. I guess we don't need this mask anymore. <laughs> oh no, we're locked in. This is never a good sign. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Ah! There's a mask there! It's sun mask. And then, oh wait, there's a switch in front of that. Don't step on the switch. Do oh no! Oh no! You fool! No, I've done it! Oh, poopers! Oh no! Uh oh. Uh, step on that switch! What? Are you telling us what to do? Is it some setup where the door stays open only while the switch is pressed? All right, go, 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 <laughs> And then he can go inside. Now we're in control of him. Like, what? What is this craziness? Yeah, we got a block puzzle now. There should be some device in this room that also opens the door. Oh, 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 that mask. Oh, no. Oh, no. Conveyor belt leading to a trap door. He's trying to pull it all over reach and make his escape. We've got to hurry. All right, we gotta do this in time, so let's move this. Oh shoot, that's right, you gotta... Or do I just push it on the... Oh shoot, do I just push it on the switch? Okay, yeah, it's in the direction of the masks, okay. That makes sense. That's no good, this isn't the switch. Go check that room, there should be some sort of mechanism. Please, there's no time, and then we switch back over to Link. I don't like him, but is there a choice? Should we help him? Now we're moving ahead in the face of danger, you know what's for the better? It's just like tell. That's it, let's go! Alright, let's go! We gotta kill you really quick. There we go, and that'll open his door, and then we switch back over, that's right. Don't hit 
the uh, blue switch. I mean, don't hit the red switches. You can hit the yellow ones that'll as it'll slow the conveyor belt. But the yellow ones, I mean, but the red ones don't allow speed things up. You do not want to speed things up at all. Okay, I'm gonna hit this again really quick and go ahead through. Oh God. Um. Uh, I'm gonna push this here. Slow the conveyor. Push this there, and then this straight down. Okay, at least I remember that one. And then I push his other block on the side. Oh god, Wolfos of all things! Why Wolfos? Okay. Thank you for the Gilded Sword. Yeah, I remember for his block, you gotta push this down, straight that away, and then we go straight through, and there we go! We've got this. We've got- oh! Uh, oh wait, that's actually- I need to have both switch- switches- yeah, I gotta go like this, and there we go! Ha 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 ha! <laughs> you got the sun's mask back! You've held Kefi! This is Eddie, it's in your own book! There's still time. I must get back to town! <laughs> Me too! <laughs> it poops you back out here. Okay, so now we've got to do some warping. Back to Clock Town! After this cutscene ends, I suppose! By the way, keep the song of inverted time still inverted, of course. Just for the sake of giving yourself the maximum amount of time possible. Ah, you are a member. Please come in! Okay. So, yeah, we're going into the milk bar now. Uh, Madame Aroma should be here. Uh, hey, how's it going? Look at that! I didn't want to talk to you. No, I, well, I guess I could talk to you. As you can see, all of our customers have taken refuge. Maybe un my undoing, but I'm the sort of fellow who will stay at his business through thick and thin. And I continue standing here at the counter, hoping one of my favorite customers will appear. And I wasn't wrong. See, you stopped it. <laughs> okay, her. I want to. I want to speak to you, actually. Uh, or, or maybe I can't speak to you. Oh, there we go. Oh dear. Are you all right with not fleeing? It looks like this is it for the town, you know. You saw the moon, didn't you? It's gotten so huge. All the town's folk is fed. You should flee too. Far away. What? I can't... You're the mama that I need to show the thing. Um... Uh... Oh shoot, I remember, I remember, it's the Caffey mask! Oh dear, you're the one searching for Caffey. How is it? Have you found them? Here, here's the letter. Take it, take it! Oh dear, priority mail. This, this is from Kefi, correct? Correct? Wonderful! You really are an expert! <laughs> yes, yes, I'm sorry, my thanks. Yes, yes, it is your job, after all. And we get a bottle of Chateau Romani! Well, we've only got a couple hours left to use this in the three-day cycle. The more important thing is, we've got another bottle. <laughs> Woo! The drink even boosts your magic stamina. Swill it around with your tongue to enjoy its flavor to the fullest. Heck yeah! I'm sorry, at this point in time, I can give you only something like this. Actually, I wanted to give you, give this to you sooner, really. Uh, got anything else to say here? You've done good work. Now you flee too. Alright, now we're going next door over to the Stockpot Inn this time. Because we've got a little bit more waiting to do. Um, there's something else you can do... Um, with, like, getting a postman's hat during this quest. But it's, it's something that you can only do on a different time cycle. So I'm only doing the bottle one on this one, and I'll get the, the postman's hat on uh, the next part. Like, I'll get everything set up for that between parts and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give you an idea. I mean, I'll point out as to, uh, what the poop I need to do when I get there. But just keep in mind that there's another branch to this, okay? Oops. Okay. <laughs> so, now we're going to make time go back to normal speed. Uh, because we have, I guess you could say, got everything back together in the reunion because he got the sun's mask back. Um, she should be waiting upstairs here now. Um, yeah, I can enter this room now. And here she is. I have decided to wait for him. I've made my promise. I'm fine with this. I believe him. All right. Let's wait. <laughs> wait, actually, can we take a peek see around the... I don't think there's... Yeah, this is the moon's mask. Um, 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 um. Um, help. I forgot this was here. What's in this? Oh. 
my, my bank account is full. I, I cannot use this. <laughs> Alright, but what I can do is wait for the ensuing cutscene to occur as Kefi comes in. Alright, it should be coming, so I can say this now. There is a bunch of optional stuff, as I showed you. But the thing about it that you absolutely need to do when you're doing the side quest is that you have to focus on getting the items. Uh, so all the stuff like with the dialogue and stuff like that, you could skip that entirely if you wanted to. But I didn't just for the sake of showing you how you can kind of figure out this quest. And uh, yeah, we're almost all going to be destroyed by the moon here. But he arrives. Uh-huh. She's got the mask. Remember that moon's mask I pointed out? I... I have met you before. What a familiar scent. Long, long ago. Yes, we were still young. We made a promise, didn't we? Masks of the sun and the moon. We were to exchange them on the day of the carnival of time. Andrew. I'm sorry, I was late. Welcome home. Woo! They, they love us, but they look just like a mother and child. A uh, thanks, Skull Kid. <laughs> <laughs> Let us exchange the promised masks. So they're like symbols of sorts, you know, to reunite themselves in the future. Oh! Oh! Oh, what is this? Why, it's a new mask. We have exchanged our oaths and have become a couple. You are our witnesses. Please accept this mask. And it's a couple's mask. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Please take refuge. You're fine here. We shall greet the morning together. Um. Hate to break it to ya, but that isn't gonna come for ya if you you know what I mean. If you if you know how the the moon and stuff. Okay, you probably know that in all honesty. <laughs> Please take refuge. We are fine here. We shall greet the morning together. Wait, 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 wait. I'll drink to that. <laughs> And with that, I'm going to end off the part here by playing the Song of Time, because I got the couple's mask. I'll show you what this thing is used for in the next part, but that's all for now. I've, I've played the game for like an hour and a half just for this one quest. I'm done! <laughs> so I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part after my much-deserved break from today. <laughs>